good morning students so in last class we have studied the phylum anaski helminthes now coming to the uh, next phylum that is uh, phylum phylum annelida annelida so here the phylum annelida annulus means ring like that means the organisms will having annulus annulus means a ring like that means here the body is having a ring like a body segmented is taken place due to the presence of a ring like body segmentation here these organisms are called as the annelidans annulus means a ring like that means these are the organisms which consist of a ring like structure that is ring like body or a ring like the body segmentation is taken place so that here these organisms are called them as the annulus or a phylum justify the name as the annelida that means here will having the body is the body is body is a ring like a ring like a segmented ring like a segmented so justify the name so justify justify the name the name annelida so here these are presenting justify the name as the annelidans so here these are these are these these are uh, uh, fresh water forms fresh water forms fresh water forms and also the marine water and some are uh, the marine water forms the marine water forms and also and uh, the moist uh, they are present in uh, a moist uh, soil and a few are and uh, a few are and a few are and a few are the parasites so these are uh, they are maybe a fresh water forms a marine water forms and some are present in a, a moist soil and some are uh, a parasites are presenting so these organisms will be presenting that means in fresh water forms uh, here a marine water like anaerobes and uh, in moist soil uh, the earthworms are presenting example earthworm and the parasites here uh, they take and take and place as a, a leech as an uh, this is here leech leech an example for parasites uh, in moist soil uh, here we can take and place an example for uh, an earthworm earthworm and in you know, a nerys we can take and place uh, and nerys so these are the an example uh, where we can take and place uh, and uh, here if you seen here uh, these uh, are fresh water forms marine water forms a uh, moist soil and also present some very few of them are uh, an uh, a parasites and here coming to the that is uh, the organization here a grid of organization grid of organization so here which grid of organization is a taken place means uh, a organ system organ system grid of organization it is presenting the organ system grid of uh, an organization is a presenting where here it consists of here it it consists of the organ system that means all organs are organs systems will performs the all organs are combined together to form organ system the organ system will performs all vital activities which are taken place in an organisms so they are called as as it shows here an organ system a grid of organization is presenting and here symmetry 
here here symmetry what symmetry means here it shows uh, the a uh, bilateral a uh, bilateral uh, symmetry here uh, it shows uh, a bilateral symmetry that is uh, when you cut the organism in only one vertical plane uh, getting off uh, two identical uh, holes are produces uh, so such type of symmetry we can call as a, a bilateral asymmetry and also here if you seen here a body wall the a body a wall here a body wall here it shows uh, the a triplo triploblastic a triploblastic organisms here it shows a, a triploblastic and organisms here a triploblastic means uh, will having a, a three germ layers are presenting uh, that is uh, outer ectoderm a middle mesoderm and inner uh, and endoderm is uh, presenting uh, so such type of system is uh, presenting uh, in the in the annelidans where you having uh, a triploblastic a triplo means a uh, three blastic mean germ layers it consists of uh, a three germ layers are presenting such as outer ectoderm inner endoderm and mean uh, sorry outer ectoderm middle mesoderm and inner endoderm and here middle mes uh, that means here uh, having a middle a mesoderm is presenting having three germ layers are presenting so we can say as uh, the uh, triplo blastic uh, and uh, organisms and also here if you seen here a body cavity a body a cavity or a, a coelom or a, a coelom so here a body cavity or a, a coelom here what is here shows means here a, these are an u coelomates these are an u coelomates where here will having a, a true cavity a true a cavity is uh, presenting uh, a true cavity present uh, between uh, body wall between uh, the body wall and the elementary canal and the elementary canal and the elementary canal and uh, it is uh, it is made up of uh, made up of coelomic coelomic epithelium epithelium on both sides on either side either a side so here it is a, the true cavity is a presenting the true cavity will consist of a, the a true cavity which is presenting a, will made up of a coelomic and epithelial cells are presenting a, so such type of a, will having a, a true coelom that means a true cavity is a, presenting a, between a, the body wall and elementary canal so this type of a, we can call them as a, the pseudo sorry we can call them as a, a u coelomates or a, a coelomates organism where will having this is the first phylum which consist of a, a true cavity body a cavity so we can call them as a, a u coelomates and also it is made up of a, the coelomic epithelium on either side of the cavity it is made up of a, a coelomic and epithelium and uh, this is uh, where and uh, here it shows here uh, a metamerism in this body here it shows uh, the a metamerism that means here internally and outside uh, that is here it shows metamerism metamerism means uh, here as well segmented uh, the body is division of body division of uh, division of division of a body into equal into equal somites in equal somites somites are segments segments in and segments in and outside of the of the a body that means here it shows a true metamerism that means internally as well as externally here the body is divided into equal somites are segmented so such type of segment we can call as 
a true amata amerism here we will show a true meta amerism true meta amerism means internally and externally here equal segments will be taken place that means here, here internally it is in the form of uh, the septa and outside it is in the form of annulus here it shows equal uh, a segmentation is a uh, taken place uh, so this type of segmentation is called as uh, a true meta amerism and here already we know that there are meta amerism is of two types one is a uh, a false that means here outside and inside the true segmentation will not be taken place if they are outside and inside that means in the body here outside and internally externally we cannot able to produce equal segment then we can call it as a false segmentation or a pseudo segmentation or pseudo metamerism if it is internally or externally if it is produce equal somites are equal segment is produced is here externally in the form of annuli and internally in the, in the form of a septum these are forming or we can call them as a, the a true and meta amerism here this is the first phylum where here it shows a, a true a meta amerism next coming next we can that is a, a locomotion we'll discuss now coming to the uh, locomotion here uh, a locomotion here locomotion is a having a, a different locomotor organelles are presenting uh, in uh, in earthworm uh, in earthworm these are uh, in earthworm it consists of it uh, consists of uh, the circular and longitudinal canals longitudinal uh, the muscles circular circular and uh, longitudinal 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 muscles muscles uh, are otherwise we can call them as uh, the ct they are called as uh, a ct that means uh, here these may also called as uh, the ct that means in a earthworm it consists of the circular and longitudinal muscles which helpful for locomotion in a parapodia in a neris in a neris it consists of the parapodia as the locomotor organelles and in a leech here it consists of anterior and the anterior and the a posterior the anterior and posterior suckers so with the help of an anterior and posterior suckers in the form of uh, anterior and posterior sucker in the form of in the form of looping looping of moments in the form of uh, a looping moments uh, here looping means uh, here it is moving like this uh, here uh, with the help of that means it moving from one to the another that means uh, with the help of one moving from one place to the another place uh, so this type of movement uh, we can call as uh, a looping uh, a moments uh, so here these are the various types of uh, the locomotor organelles which are presenting uh, in the an annelidans where circular and longitudinal muscles in uh, earthworm uh, they are also called as the ct and uh, in an eris will consist of uh, the numerous uh, as uh, cts are present there are numerous parapodia are presenting where with the help of these parapodia the locomotion is uh, taken place and in, in a leech here will having uh, the anterior and a uh, posterior suckers are the and uh, locomotor organelles next uh, coming to the uh, digestion uh, a digestive uh, system so here uh, the digestive system is uh, a complete uh, a complete uh, a digestive a complete digestive the system is presenting system is present here a complete digestive system means here having a two openings are presenting so one opening is called as a mouth and another opening is called as a, the anus where food is taken place with the help of mouth 
arrangation is uh, taken place uh, in the form of a mouth region and elimination of waste material or ejection is uh, taken place uh, through the ananas so we will having uh, a complete uh, a digestive a system is uh, presenting uh, where here it consists of uh, complete digestive uh, presenting uh, it is presenting uh, where where it consists of consists of mouth and uh, anus the mouth and uh, anus it uh, consists of the mouth and uh, the anus next uh, if we coming to the uh, circulatory system circulatory system so here uh, in the circular system uh, here it is the first phylum it is the a first phylum it is the a first phylum it is the a first phylum consisting of uh, consist of a closed type of uh, a closed type of uh, a circulatory system a closed type of uh, a circulatory system so here uh, will having uh, a closed type of uh, a circulatory a system is uh, presenting uh, that is uh, will consist of uh, the blood is uh, passes through the uh, blood vessels such as arteries veins and a uh, uh, capillaries are presenting uh, so through these uh, will having a closed type means here through the blood vessels the blood is uh, the blood is uh, blood is uh, transported blood is uh, transported through the through the blood vessels blood vessels and uh, the blood cells are amoeboid in shape the blood cells are amoeboid amoeboid ami amoeboid amoeboid in shape and uh, here uh, the blood is in uh, blood is a uh, blood is in the form of a colorless that is a colored uh, sorry here uh, blood consists of uh, blood is uh, dissolved sorry the blood uh, blood is a uh, colorless sorry blood is a uh, colored blood is a uh, a colored due to the due to the presence of due to the presence of a hemoglobin due to the presence of a hemoglobin so here the blood is in the form of colored when this red color is presenting why it is presenting of red color means here it can producing sorry here due to the dissolving of hemoglobin in the plasma of the blood here it produce a red color is a produce so here blood is a colored due to the presence of a hemoglobin so this type of system is caused as a, is called as a, a closed type of circular system it is a first phylum where consist of a closed type that is the blood is passes through the blood vessels and coming to the a respiratory system a respiratory respiratory system so here a respiratory system here it is a taken place here it takes place by the an skin that means here it help of the help of a skin here the respiration is a taken place so here the respiration is a taken place the respiration the respiration is a taken place taken place by the by the general general body surface body surface so here in earthworms in earthworms it is a taken place by a general a body a sir that is through the a moist a skin so here through the a general body surface or in the form of a, a moist a skin in the form of a, a moist skin so we can call this as a, a cutaneous 
cutaneous respiration it is in the form of a, a cutaneous respiration that is in the form of moist skin that is in earthworm and in uh, in aquatic uh, in aquatic forms it is in the in aquatic uh, in aquatic forms it is uh, it is in the in the form of uh, form of a, in the form of a gills that means in the moist skin like earthworm here the respiration is taken place through moist skin that we can call as a cutaneous respiration if the respiration is taken place by skin we can call as a cutaneous respiration and if it is taken place by the gills we can call as a, that is a, a bronchial a bronchial respiration bronchial respiration so here it takes place by both a cutaneous as well as the bronchial that is the gills of a respiration next coming to the an excretion excretory system so here excretory the main the excretory system is it can the main excretory system is in the form of the and nephridia the nephridia or the an excretory a canals present in the earthworm so sorry in a in a anelidans the nephridia are the an excretory canals that is excretory system present in anelidans where here through the an an nephridial pores here it consist of nephridia as an excretory system the nephridia excretion is taken place with the help of nephridia and it consist of nephridial pores through this nephridial pores they eliminate the excretory the waste materials from the a body and consist of and consist of consist of nephridial pore nephridial pore nephridial pore which eliminates which which eliminates which eliminates the waste material eliminates the waste material waste waste material outside the body outside the body so here the main excretory organs are in the form of a nephridia so here it consists of nephridial pores are presenting through the nephridial pores through the and nephridia they collect the waste material through the nephridial pores uh, these are sended outside of the uh, body so such type of uh, nephron the nervous sorry excretory system is presenting in the form of a uh, nephridias next uh, coming to the uh, nervous uh, system so next uh, coming to the uh, nervous system nervous uh, system so here a pair of a pair of a pair of cerebral ganglion cerebral a ganglion are we can call that as a we can call that as a brain here we having a cerebral a ganglions from the cerebral ganglion or otherwise you can call brain and arise and arise a sub pharyngeal sub pharyngeal sub pharyngeal ganglion ganglion and arising from arising from it is arising from a double ventral a double ventral narrow cord narrow cord extending double ventral narrow cord on the on the ventral side ventral side and a segmental ganglions in each segment the segmental the segmental 
the segmental the segmental ganglions ganglion ganglions in each segment in each in each segment so this type of system is a presenting that is will having a pair of cerebral ganglions from the arising from a subpharyngeal from above double ventral that means here if you see this is a so here it is if it is a complex so the segmented that is the segment of the inner of the so here we are having uh, the segments are presenting uh, and this is we can call as uh, the cerebral ganglion the cerebral ganglion ganglion or a brain arising from these uh, it is uh, the sub pharyngeal sub pharyngeal pharyngeal from these here it is a, a double double ventral ventral narrow cord and from these uh, it arises the segmental ganglions so here we can this we can call as a the segmental ganglions here ganglions means a, a group of nerves here what are ganglions means here will consist of a, a group of a, a nerves so that group of nerves we can call as a, a ganglions where will having a, a cerebral ganglion from arising subpharyngeal from that uh, a double ventral narrow cord on the ventral side of each segment that means up to the from starting to the ending from first segment to the uh, last segment here this will be consisting uh, and each segment will having uh, a segmental ganglions are uh, presenting this is the type of uh, the nervous system uh, presenting uh, in the annelidans next uh, coming to the uh, last one uh, that is uh, reproduction here reproduction these are uh, bisexual bisexual are uh, hermaphrodites hermo hermaphrodites that means here bisexual are uh, the hermaphrodites it's hermaphrodites uh, so here we are having a bisexual or a hermaphrodite that means here male and female gametes are uh, presenting uh, within the uh, one organism only so this type of uh, system uh, this type of reproduction we can call as a, a monoecious or a, a bisexual organism or we can call them as a, the hermo a prodite and organisms uh, where here it shows uh, the both male and female are presenting within the a single uh, an individual uh, here uh, the uh, fertilization is uh, an uh, here uh, it uh, takes here uh, it uh, takes place uh, the fertilization is uh, an internal uh, fertilization is uh, taken place uh, and also here a uh, development uh, if you see in the development uh, here it may be a direct or uh, an indirect development here uh, it takes place here internal fertilization an internal fertilization an internal fertilization that means inside the organism the fertilization is taken place and the development uh, development is uh, is uh, direct or uh, indirect indirect so indirect will shows uh, 
a several uh, indirect will show us uh, a several uh, larval uh, forms. So here larval forms is uh, a trochophora, trochophore, troco, trochophore, trochophore larval forms. So here it shows a trochophore a a larval forms is a taken place in the annelidans where either indirectly it is a taken places. So this is where the characteristics of the anaphylum annelidas. So we are coming to the a classification. So here it is classified into three classes. One is a polychaete, oligochaete and hyridunase that will be discussed in the now, now we will discuss that one. Coming to the a classification, here the classification of Annelida, it is classified into a four classes. One is Polychaete, second one is Oligochaete, third one is Hyrodine and fourth one is Archae Annelida. So here Polychaete an example is Aneris, here the Polychaete an example is the Neris and Aphrodite and Oligochaete an example is Earthworm and Tubifex and a hyridine example is a leech and archae annelida it is a, a polygodius. So these are the a four classes and their examples that is a, the polychaete example Neris and Aphrodite, polychaete example earthworm and cubifex and the earthworm you can call as a ferithima postuma also the scientific name and hyridine example is a leech and a, the last one is a, the hyra Archae annelida example is a polyagodrius. So this is the classification of a, a phylum annelida. So this is the classification of a phylum, this is the characters of a phylum annelida as well as the classification. Now we will discuss the next phylum that is a phylum arthropoda. So next coming to the next phylum that is a phylum Phylum the Arthropoda. Arthropoda. So here Arthro means jointed. Arthro means jointed. Poda means legs. So these are the organisms. These are the these are the these are the organisms. These are the organisms consist of uh, consist of a jointed legs a jointed legs so so justify so uh, justified the name the name arthropoda justify the name arthropoda arthropoda arthro means uh, jointed poda means legs these are the having these are the organism having a jointed legs are presenting due to the presence of jointed legs so these organisms are justify the name as arthropoda and it is the it is the largest phylum it is the largest largest phylum it is the largest the largest phylum in animal kingdom in animal kingdom where here it consists of an 80 percentage of organisms that is 80 percentage of organisms are belongs to the phylum arthropoda only that is 80 percentage of organisms 80 percentage of organisms organisms are belongs to the belongs to arthropoda so it is the largest phylum present in the an animal kingdom both in vertebrates as well as in one in you know invertebrates as well as vertebrates if it taken place it is the largest phylum where he'll having an 80 percentage of an 80 percentage of organisms are belongs to the an arthropoda and so it is the largest phylum present in in animal kingdom 
next these are present in these are present present in fresh water fresh that means these are present in fresh fresh and marine water fresh and marine water example if it taken place a prawn and present in moist soils and a moist soil moist soil and also terrestrial and also the terrestrial are the are they are aerial aerial form means insects insects are aerial forms the terrestrial means if it taken place an earthworms sorry not the earthworms cockroaches so here only having a, a different forms they are present in uh, the fresh water that is aquatic forms and uh, some are moist soils and uh, some are uh, the aerial and also they are uh, some are and uh, some are uh, some are parasitic some are uh, the parasites that is uh, the succulina succul succulina the example is uh, the succulinas are example of uh, the parasitic uh, forms next uh, coming to the a uh, grade of organization a grade of uh, an uh, organization so here uh, which type of grade of organization is a uh, taken place means uh, here it takes place uh, the organ system uh, organ uh, system uh, a grade of uh, an organization grade of uh, an organization here it shows uh, an organ system uh, a grade of organization where organs uh, organ systems will performs all vital activities in an organism so we can call it as an organ system a grade of organization and here it shows a symmetry here if you see in here a symmetry here it shows a bilateral a bilateral symmetry it shows a bilateral symmetry when you cut the organism in only in only one vertical plane we are able to get a two identical the hulls are producing so we can call them as a the a bilateral symmetry and here it shows the body wall the a body wall here the body wall it shows here these are a triploblastic triplo a plastic organisms triploblastic the organisms that is will having a, a three germ layers are presenting outer ectoderm middle mesoderm and inner and endoderm is presenting so we can call them as a, a triploblastic and organisms and if you see in here a body coverings a body coverings here the body is covered by the body is the body is covered by an exoskeleton the body is covered by chitinous chitinous exoskeleton exoskeleton which is which is a shed exoskeleton which is shed which is a shed s h e d shed at intervals at a uh, intervals uh, which is the shed at a uh, intervals uh, this process uh, this process is called as uh, is called as uh, egg diseases so here uh, what is egg diseases means uh, the skeleton will having uh, the gaps for example uh, if you say uh, this is an uh, an organism we seen this is an organism here exoskeleton is made up of a caps are presenting 
that gaps which is presenting uh, that we can call as a uh, shedding at intervals that uh, exoskeleton is uh, shedding at intervals uh, this condition we can call as uh, an egg diocese what is egg diocese means here yeah, exoskeleton is a chitinous exoskeleton which is shed at intervals intervals means gapping gap exoskeleton is gap is present in between uh, the uh, body covering so, so we can call that as uh, this process uh, we can call as uh, an egg diocese so here it also shows and also it is a uh, consist of the exoskeleton is made up of uh, the calcium salts also present in uh, the exoskeleton is uh, made up of uh, a calcium salts uh, example uh, in the crabs calcium salts are presenting in the form of exoskeleton example we can take and place in a crabs so this is where we can call as a body a coverings next so here exoskeleton in some organisms the exoskeleton is deposited in the form of calcium carbonates example is a crabs next coming to the a body coelom a body body cavity body cavity are a coelom so here these are a true coelomids a true a coelo true coelomids these are a true coelomids where it consists of and out uh, here will having a true body cavity is presenting between the body wall and uh, an elementary a canal and also it is lined by the uh, pseudomic uh, and epithelial cells and it is restricted to the that means uh, the coelom is restricted the coelom is uh, a restricted re restricted to an excretory 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 and also the reproductive system reproductive system reproductive systems and also here the blood the cavity is filled with the blood cavity or a coelom is filled with filled with a blood called as called as a humus hemo hemocelom or hemocele we can call them as uh, the hemocele where here it is uh, a colorless blood where here uh, it is filled with uh, a fluid so that blood is fluid is filled with uh, the cavity or coelom so we can call that as uh, a hemocelomes and restricted to do and restricted to an excretory as well as a reproductive structures and having a true cavity is presenting between the body wall and the elementary canal where it is lined by the pseudomic and epithelial cells next coming to the body division the body division the body is divided into the body is divided divided into three regions three regions such as three regions such as head thorax and and abdomen and abdomen sometimes some sometimes the head is head is fused with fused with head is fused with the thorax thorax so call is called is called cephalo cephalothorax so here head is fused with uh, the thorax that is if it has head is uh, it is divided into three region head the thorax and the abdomen so if a head is uh, uh, fused with the thorax so we can call as uh, the cephalo 
a thorax in conditions next coming to the digestive system a digestive system here we'll having a, a complete a complete digestive complete a digestive a complete digestive system is presenting a complete digestive system is present and the mouth consists of the mouth consists of the mouth consists of the mouth parts mouth consists of the mouth parts helpful for helpful for the helpful for feeding helpful for a feeding and digestion is intracellular digestion is a digestion is intracellular so here we'll having a, a complete digestive system that means a mouth and anus is presenting two openings are presenting so we can call as a, a complete digestive system and the mouth is surrounded by an appendage mouth consists of an appendage mouth consists of an appendage these these we can call them as a, the mouth parts which helpful for the feeding of a food materials and also here digestion is intracellular inside the cell the digestion is a, a taken a place next coming to the respiratory system the respiratory the respiratory system here the the respiration is taken place the respiration is taken place taken place through through general through general body surface body surface or body surface or by the gills gills in aquatic forms aquatic forms like prawn and uh, and tertiary tertiary by a uh, book lungs and aerial aerial is aerial by aerial by trachea aerial by a trachea that means here aerial by trachea that is an insects here insects is a taken place by aerial by trachea and in tertiary it is in the book book lungs example we can taken place uh, the scorpion sticks these are example where taken place by book lungs and in aquatic forms these are in form of uh, a gills or it will be taken place by a body general body a surface uh, the respiration will be a uh, taken place and uh, here the circulatory system uh, circulatory circulatory system here circulatory system is it consists of it consists of it consists of open type of open type of a circulatory open type of a circulatory system open type of circulatory system means directly the blood is passes to the a blood a sinuses that means here blood vessels are not be presenting directly the blood is passes to the a cavities or the sinuses to the body parts so we can call as the open type of a circulatory system and here here it is filled with the a hemo a seal that means blood cavity is filled with a blood so here hemo seal that means here the cavity is 
fluid that means uh, coelom or cavity is filled with fluid so we can call that as uh, the hemocele hemocele will circulates the blood to different parts of the uh, body by the uh, blood uh, sinuses it consists of uh, and uh, it consists of it consists of a uh, hemocele hemo seal through the hemocel through pass a hemocel blood passes blood passes through sinuses our body parts our body parts so this is type of uh, the circulatory system is presenting that is will having open type that means your blood vessels are absenting directly the blood will passes through the uh, cavities that is called as hemocele through this uh, hemo sinuses or hemocele yet the blood is passing through the uh, body parts uh, so this type of system we can called as uh, the open type of uh, a circulatory system so it is the first phylum where it consists of the open type of a circulatory system and next coming to the an excretory system next coming to the an excretory system so your excretory system in uh, in arthropods in a arthropoda arthropoda the excretion is a uh, excretion is a uh, taken place taken place by by malpighian tubules malpighian 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 tubules malpighian tubules which is connected with uh, connected which is connected connect connected to intestine so here uh, the excretory organs uh, the excretory organs uh, present in uh, analidens are uh, the malpighian uh, tubules in some forms in some arthropods uh, in some uh, in some uh, in some arthropods uh, it consists of uh, arthropods it consists of maxillary maxillary and uh, the maxillary the uh, maxillary coxal coxal are a green glands a green a glands where green glands where they acts as uh, the an excretory organs in these uh, acts, uh, these are maxillary coxal and green glands uh, will acts as uh, the excretory organs in some uh, arthropods next coming to the uh, nervous system nervous system so here in uh, how the uh, analidens will consist of uh, here also will consist of uh, a pair of uh, a pair of cerebral cerebral ganglion a pair of cerebral ganglion or uh, a brain arising 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 from uh, arising from subpharyngeal sub pharyngeal pharyngeal ganglion arising from that sub pharyngeal ganglion and arising from that arising from from a, a segmental a segmental a ganglion segmental a ganglion in each segment so will having an each segment that means will having uh, the cerebral ganglions here uh, this is uh, the cerebral ganglions 
where you are having a So you are having a, this is a, this is the the brain or a cerebral ganglion and a sub pharyngeal and this is a, a segmental ganglions segmental the ganglions so these are the having a, this is a, how these are all consist of a the segmental that is uh, having a brain subpharyngeal and uh, a segmental uh, a ganglion so in uh, anthro how oh, anal will consist of same type of uh, the uh, narrow system is uh, presenting next uh, coming to the reproduction here the sexes are separate sexes are sexes are separate separate the sexes are Sexes are separate, uh, and uh, the fertilization is uh, the fertilization. The fertilization is uh, internal, internal in majority, and uh, and also shows, and also sh and also shows uh, external fertilization. External the fertilization, external fertilization and uh, development, development may be, may be a direct or a indirect. So here indirect means here it shows uh, a several. Uh, a larval forms that is here for sexes are separate that means male and female are separate they are presenting uh, and the fertilization is uh, here it shows the monoecious that means sorry monoecious so not uh, they are dioecious that means both male and female are separately they are presenting uh, and the fertilization is uh, majority of organism will show an internal fertilization and very few will show uh, an external fertilization in the form of uh, AOV paras egg laying and they make a fertilization and uh, here uh, the development is uh, direct or indirect indirect will show uh, several uh, larval uh, forms so these are the uh, characters of uh, a phylum and uh, these are the characters uh, of a phylum uh, the arthropods so coming to the next one uh, the classification so coming to the classification of uh, Phylum Arthropoda. Here it consists of six classes. One is Anchophora, Crustacea, Chilopoda, Diplopoda, Insecta, and Orchinida. Here Anchophora example is Periparas, where here it is called as a connecting link. Connecting link between the Annelida, Annelida, and Arthropoda. It is a, a connecting link between that means we will having both characters of annelid and arthropoda. So we can call it as connecting link that is a peri -patus. In crustacea, the examples of prawn, lobster and the crabs. And a chilopoda example is a centipedes. And a diplopoda example is a millipedes. And insecta, it is the largest phylum. It is the largest class present in arthropoda where it having bed bugs, butterflies, mosquitoes, housefly, cockroaches and also here honeybees are silk moths. So these are economically they are more important. In this class that is insect is the largest class present in Arthropoda. And lastly that is Arcinida. An example is the spiders, so the scorpions and the sticks. So these are the various characters and classification. They are classified into seven class, six classes. Oncophora, a crustacea, chilopoda, diplopoda, insect, and arachnida. So, 
So this is the class for characters and phylum of the classes of phylum the Arthropoda. In next class we will discuss that is a phylum a molluscans.